what you can do to put the love back in your marriage and the passion back in is to shake up your sex schedule. You know, many people have been advised to schedule it. And that simply means to prioritize it because if you don't prioritize it, then it's not gonna happen because of all the duties and responsibilities and things that you have going on throughout the course of the day. Both of you are working long hours and then you come home and you're exhausted and it's just like, oh, we wanted to, but it just didn't happen. And one day later turns into a week later, turns into a month later and before you know it, man, when was the last time we came together? And so according to many experts, they say switch up the schedule. So if it's typical that it would be in the evening, hey, how about in the morning? How about during a lunch break? How about you sneak away and do something uniquely different? Because doing it in different places at different times brings about a different connection and energy and level of fun back into the relationship. And that's what you have to do. Get out of the monotonous way of doing things because if it's predictable and normal and we know what's going to happen before it happens and it's the same routine, then it feels like a chore. It's like uh, vacuuming and laundry and dishes and here we go again. Sex. <laughs> vacuuming, laundry and dishes. <laughs> that sounds depressing. It does. Lord. It does. And sometimes people enter into a depressed situation. Now, when you talk to most couples, they both have a desire for more. But when you ask them, what's the reality of what you're actually doing? It's far less than what they desire. And oftentimes we get in our own way. We become our own break. We become our own block to keep us from having what we ultimately want. So getting in alignment with your spouse and talking about things and you're stepping outside of your frame and your box to switch things up can be actually a great thing. Absolutely. The next point, the next point, point number four, schedule weekly date nights. Now, we just talked about intimacy, but we're talking about dates. You know, there was a time when you were in the dating season of your relationship. We talk about the four seasons of a successful relationship, the dating season, committed courtship, engagement, and then marriage. But sometimes when we say I do, we stop dating. We no longer do what we did to win that spouse into the relationship in the first place. And you want to create a regular routine. So going back to the concept of rituals of connection, one of those rituals is to play, right? So that's that date night. It's the hobbies. It's the shared experiences that bring about a level of fun and connection in your relationship. I, I, the date night part is so big. I mean, we always talk about how when we, you know, go throughout the week, we're so busy because we work together. Hassani and I are always together, right? Mm -hmm. I'm here with him right now, but this is not quality time. This doesn't count. And, this a lot, doesn't. and a lot of times we get so busy that we discount the importance of actually setting time aside, turning off the phone and any other outside connections and zoning in on each other. Those dates make it all possible. It makes it easy for us to be together all the time because we actually turn off our work hats, turn off our parenting hats, and we are just focusing on us, whatever that might be. So it could be a fun date, a yeah. romantic date, but it's just us together focused on us. And that really takes us to the next point that you just made, Danielle. The next point is stop talking about your kids, oh. right? Listen, we love our kids. They're a bundle of joy we're proud of them they really help us inspire us to continue to do what we love to do our producer over here is looking at us crazy i don't know why right. she's looking at us crazy so one of our, our, our one of our producers is our daughter and she is over here side eyeing us big time that's right, right i now. said it but that's okay we, we don't want to talk okay. about you right now all right sometimes we need time for us and so you're making a rule to say, you know what, tonight we're going to have fun. It's not about the kid, because when you're talking about your kids, you're talking about the role you play in your children's life. And that is a parent. It's not about roles and responsibilities and obligations. You have to have fun. We've talked about this again and again and again. Many of us, truth be told, we've talked about the difference between your marriage and your relationship. Your marriage focuses on your partnership your relationship focuses on your companionship. And many of you, when if I were to ask you to rate your marriage, right? Duty, dutiful responsibilities, parenting, managing of the finances, planning for the future, you do well with that. But if I said, tell me about your relationship, right? The emotional connection, sexual fulfillment, uh, blending of personalities, recreational companionship, you probably don't do as great in that. So most couples we have found, they're pretty good at the partnership thing. They're pretty good at the marriage thing, the parenting thing, but it's this connection thing that they need to restore. And so sometimes you've got to take the topic of children and work and projects off of the table yeah. so that you can reconnect with one another. Absolutely. 